OK, let's move on to our next topic, shall we? Because $9.2 trillion a year, that's how much the world needs to spend every year in order to reach net zero and maintain a habitable world, according to new analysis by McKinsey Consultancy. It sounds like a lot, but it is. And if you consider climate change to be, is it really that much if it, you consider climate change to be an existential crisis. Now, if you've seen the film Don't Look Up, you'll know that one of the points it makes is that an obsession with money ultimately, well, no spoilers, but it doesn't end well for them. So, Bernice, a fundamental transformation of the world economy and $9 trillion should be spent annually in investment. I mean, it's, it's a huge amount. It's a big ask. Is it pie in the sky? Will it happen, do you think? It is a huge ask, but at the same time, I think McKinsey has pointed out that actually the cost of doing nothing would be much, much higher. And so in some sense, it is in the context of much larger cost of the economy. And I think all the studies we've looked at, we're talking about 10%, 23%, you know, the kind of cost of impacts. And that actually means that it will be costing a lot more than what COVID is currently costing us, for example. And also, I think the good news as well, or the hope at least, is that because historically all these modeling has always underestimated how quickly renewables have gotten cheaper in the past. So there is great hope that actually we will get a lot cheaper and therefore the cost is less than what this estimate would say. So on the one side, impacts cost far more. On the other side, actually, hopefully, if the numbers are, you know, if the cost of the fast cost of reduction is underestimated on the other side there is a great chance that actually we will come on the other side a lot more balanced than these numbers necessarily imply. Michael, do you agree with that analysis? And, and ultimately, who's going to be responsible for this transformation and this investment? Are we talking about governments or are we talking about corporations? Well, it's all of the above, right? We have to work together. Um, the, the investment uh, world, uh, uh, governments, um, individuals, uh, it's all hands on deck. And I would uh, absolutely uh, reiterate the, the central points that Bernice just made. Um, first of all, when it comes to the cost of action, uh, this report, I haven't looked at it in detail yet, but it probably relies, for example, on the IEA projections of renewable energy costs. And the IEA has dramatically uh, underestimated the, um, the, the lowering in uh, cost of renewable energy in past years, uh, over the past decade. They have consistently therefore overestimated the cost of the transition to renewable energy. And if this report, for example, uses those numbers, and I suspect it does, then it is overestimating how much it will cost uh, to decarbonize our economy. Uh, at the same time, uh, there are all of these hidden costs that aren't entirely taken into account in many of these sorts of estimates. Uh, the hidden costs of our reliance on fossil fuels. We already talked about the uh, national security challenges that we face, um, the, 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 the cost of maintaining a military to fight battles um, in foreign lands to maintain access to fossil fuels, and the health cost. And, and you know, there was a segment earlier in the program about Beijing and, and the health, um, you know, the health challenges that they are facing because of their continued reliance on dirty energy. And so when we take all those into account, I suspect the cost of inaction um, is even greater than implied in the McKinsey report. But as Bernice said, even given McKinsey's very conservative numbers, it's very clear that the cost of inaction is far greater than the cost of taking action. And that's all the more reason to accelerate our efforts um, domestically um, here in the United States, in Europe, and our efforts diplomatically uh, when we return to the table uh, next year uh, in the one year okay. follow up to the Glasgow uh, conference, there's an opportunity to really ratchet up those commitments. Uh, and Bernice, then briefly, how do you communicate the message either internationally and diplomatically, but also to consumers as well, that, that, that the money needs to be spent? Look, I mean, it will cost a lot more if we don't spend it now. A lot of it is fun loaded. There's also, you know, as we are now increasingly realizing, the cost of the impacts are coming through earlier than we think. And therefore, it is quite important that we invest now and the action time is really now rather than later.